hey everyone welcome to my youtube channel my study and in this video we are going to deploy another application to the benchtalk environment and this time we are going to use this docker application to deploy to the benchtalk environment that that is through via cli now there are two ways uh, one can go ahead first is let's say we will build docker image okay so i'm just going to write in a short like a build docker image then push to ecr repository okay that is ecr and then from ecr we are going to uh, deploy to bench talk environment or we can just simply create the docker images let's say in our cloud shell environment and from those particular image we will directly deploy to the bench talk environment so in this one uh, in many of the videos as i have already explained how to push to the ecr container registry so we are not going to go with this particular part instead of that we will create the docker images and straight away those docker image will simply deploy to the bench talk environment and for that a very simple flask based application we are going to work with that so let me quickly go to my console and first everything i have to open my cloud shell so from here i'm just going to open cloud shell in another tab and elastic bench talk here okay so bang on now next thing is uh, we need to create let's say i'm just going to create some folder let's say mkdir uh, something like uh, elastic bench talk docker app okay that's good enough now i'll just go inside and we are going to create two file uh, one will be your app dot py file we just going to contain a simple hello world kind of code uh, which is just going to return with a flask module that this hello elastic bench talk uh, this is the docker uh, application i'm just going to add let's say h1 tag around that so we'll have a bigger fonts on our browser side okay and with this this is going to be version 1.0 the reason is that uh, we are going to deploy for version 2.0 also so let me just save it and the next one will be we need to create the docker file okay so here it's going to be very simple we are going to use some base python image we'll install flask within that okay we are exposing this 5000 port and we are going to start this flask application to make it run we have to fire the python 3 hyphen m flask run and host 0.0.0.0 .0 let me just come out from here and now both of this file are ready with us next thing is we need to create the docker image so first of all docker should be available so i'm just going to check yeah docker daemon is running let me clear the screen if i just have a look at the docker images currently so definitely we don't have any images and we need to build one docker image so for that uh, we are going to use this let's say docker build with t hyphen t for the tagging eb docker flask from my current directory so it's just going to build my docker images and bang on so image creation started and it almost took uh, so far 177 second so not yet finished but uh, within a matter of next few seconds i am expecting that it's just going to be finished okay so almost it took uh, three three max uh, to four minutes and depends upon the kind of machine also you are going to use because there are a lot of operations are currently going on so whatever we have written inside this uh, docker file has been written here see first step is uh, fetching those uh, python image then next is copy working directory and i guess now it's about to finish so let's just wait for few more seconds and done okay so now how we can verify our file is available so we can go to docker i mean uh, docker image is being created or not yeah bang on so docker image currently uh, i mean being created and this is the docker image which uh, we want to deploy to our bench talk environment so currently in a bench talk environment uh, we don't have any application yeah we have one application but we are going to create one separate new application where we are going to submit it 
so first we need to initialize it so i'm just gonna go ahead with eb init so that's like a common standard process uh, for starting any elastic bench stock deployment project from the command line and with this hyphen p option uh, what runtime you're going to use that is docker let's say the environment name i'm just going to give it like a tutorial okay eb init hyphen p docker docker tutorial and inside the which region i want to create so U us let's say east one uh, okay so unrecognized argument or i can just simply try with uh, if something let's say this type of things doesn't work you can always go ahead with the init and it will just keep asking uh, all the option so in which region i want to deploy let's say us is one so i'll just go ahead with option one uh, next one uh, you want to create a new application or you want to deploy in a my first app itself uh, let's say we'll just go ahead with a my first app where we want to deploy or we can create definitely new application also so that's a default one okay your and uh, application name so if you don't provide it's a by default eb docker app okay so you can have a look at our folder name i just want you to highlight i can go to another uh, tab and i can show you that uh, see eb docker app that is the folder name we have created where we kept all the source code so by default if you do not provide anything your application name will be eb docker app and that's perfectly fine in case you want to provide you can always give the name here but with default one we are okay with that it appears that you are using the docker for this one yes so it has automatically detected that uh, how you want to proceed with the runtime so uh, it has already those docker files so it has detected it so we just want to confirm with why okay docker running on 64 bit amazon linux or it is running on some ecs so we want to deploy from the our local machine uh, from here so i'll just go ahead with the option one that's fine i guess and cannot set up code uh, commit but that's perfectly fine we are not interested in it or no ssh okay hopefully it's done now i can go to my elastic bin stock and let me refresh and you can see the plain docker app with application name eb docker app being created but it doesn't have any environment so with this eb init we have just simply created a plain container having a application but it doesn't contain anything yet okay next thing we just need to create the environment so for that very simple one we are simply going to go ahead with let's see eb create and already application being set up so environment i need to provide let's see if i just go ahead with eb create uh, it is just asking me what is the environment name you want to provide so let's say we'll just go ahead with this one or if you don't provide by default it will take this uh, environment name into consideration oops uh, yeah so dns uh, prefix name it's uh, automatic we don't want to provide anything okay uh, load balancer default is 2 we'll just go ahead with the default and would you like to enable the spot fleet request to the environment no yeah so you can have a look at it just started uploading this uh, docker image to the s3 and from that s3 it just going to deploy it here now here if i just refresh the new environment should have been started creation okay so from this particular place we can access our application so far environment is not being up and ready so it is simply going to take a few minutes to get it start so what i'm going to do i'm just going to uh, wait for some time i'm just going to pause my video and i'll get back to you once the environment will be ready all right so i have seen that uh, it almost took uh, four to five minutes and still environment is not ready but here the log says that instance deployment completed uh, successfully so what uh, we can do uh, we can just simply try and access our application and let's see if it is working fine or not and bang on it's working hello elastic bench talk this is the docker application with version 1.0 and here if you just have a look at an uh, management console site instant deployment completed successfully that means it's uh, almost completed and our application is also running fine now meanwhile uh, what we are going to do 
uh, still this is going on I, it's a strange little bit for me save to do control c they are saying that's fine now i'm going to change something in our app.py file so let's say uh, instead of version 1.0 i'm just going to make it to version 2.0 we'll again rebuild the complete images so anyhow it's uh, so currently we have a docker image so remember this part now i'm going to create the docker build once again okay so it's just going to create the new docker image with a newest uh, repository which is having a latest tag and this will be untagged and i guess it being started so this is also taking good amount of time now so okay the docker image by default is available so this part is completely being skipped i would say and immediately it just uh, transferred to the step number two copying your file then working directory some pip install and immediately we'll have a new docker image which is having a version 2.0 and that is what we are going to deploy it so let's just wait for some time and i guess it's about to finish even though we had uh, those uh, python image by default available because we have earlier also built it's still taking it's around uh, one minute it's just going to take i guess uh, yeah so now the last step running your pip install flask application with a version 3.0.2 so i don't think it's going to take much time now so let me pause my video and i'll get back to you once this docker image will be ready and a new docker image we are simply going to deploy to our existing bench talk environment all right so you can have a look at our docker new image being ready so if i just have a look at the earlier image being untagged if you just have a look at the image id this is 614 so corresponding to 614 it's now none and whatever the newest one we have created it has having a latest tag so next thing we want to deploy the newest one so i'll just go ahead with the eb deploy nothing else the newest one will start deploying so if you just have a look at in environment we'll be able to see it's updating environment with a new docker image so now the time to access this application but still we are able to access 1.0 1 only so again it's just going to take a few more minutes to update this environment although it do not need to create the completely new environment already existing environment just going to replace with a new docker image to serve uh, okay i hope uh, it now it's not going to take some time okay deploying new instance but still operations are going on and bang on you can see we are into version 2.0 all right everyone so this is all about this video in this video we have seen how you can create the docker image and deploy to the elastic bench talk environment via cli now we don't want this particular whole app so what i am going to do i am just simply going to go to application eb docker app let me select and i'm just simply going to delete it all right everyone i hope you enjoy listening this video with a complete hands on please do like and comment on my video and please 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 do subscribe my channel so that i can keep creating such a great content for you